welcome back to Life of Ryan. Uh, I'm Ryan, for anyone who doesn't know. And it's the weekend, it's a lovely Saturday here at Chateau de la Bamigny in jolly old France. Oh, sorry, Bill, is the car not unlocked? It is now. And uh, well, today, Billy and I, it's our day off. That's right. If you do or don't know, I um, help film and edit videos. Hang on a minute. So if you comment in the section, right. comment in the section. So, sorry, comment in the comment section. <laughs> yeah. And tell your best joke. The winner will win this brick. <laughs> <laughs> That's a brick, by the way. Why is there a brick in my car? Let me explain that because it looks quite bad. So Billy and I went to pick up a bell in the week, and uh, we got a free brick with it. So there you go. So you can potentially win a brick. So you can win a brick. All right, but. Um, it's a non, what our verbal agreement is non-binding, okay? It's a non-binding contract, which means I'm not sending a brick through the post. Still comment your best jokes. But yeah, feel free to comment your best jokes. So Billy and I are headed off to the convent, that's right. We haven't been there in a few days. Actually, we were there just yesterday, dropping off a bloody kitchen. I miss the convent. Yeah, I miss the convent as well. But check out the Pefrix YouTube channel if you haven't already, because that's where I am currently filming and editing helping out my best friend Billy and it's going amazing. But today is our weekend off and this is where I do some nice little personal vlogs just to catch up on a few things. Now, as we make our way to the convent right now, turn the car on, that'll help. Um, I wanna show you a little video that I made during the week where I had an absolute disaster of a time. I traveled hundreds, hundreds of kilometers to go to an antique shop because I wanted to do an antique video for you but when I get to the shop it's closed all right so check this out hello everyone you are watching life of Brian it's great to see you again and today we're headed to a little podcast we're in the town of Menil sur Iton it's actually a few hundred kilometers away from home but uh, I saw a nice little brocante so I thought you know what let's check it out so let's go, shall we? Voice over Ryan here, just to give my thoughts on uh, the little adventure, the fouled adventure in fact. So here is the antique shop, and uh, I tried to get in both of these doors here, but it's just closed, unfortunately. You know, sometimes you win some, you lose some. I thought it was open, it's a regular weekday, but yeah, it's just closed. And uh, I mean, it doesn't look special inside, but there is a back room there that I couldn't get into. Sorry about the reflection everyone, the sun was very bright, I could barely see inside as well. So did we miss out on a special little antique shop? Yeah, it's always nice to uh, explore new places, but check out this house for sale. I looked online to find the price of it and I couldn't even find it, so uh, there you go. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But let's check out the nice little village while we're here, we may as well. And uh, you can see someone there on the left, just out of frame, he's installing fibre optic broadband, super fast internet, uh, good man, good man. So these villages are very much connected to the uh, outside world. There's a lovely house there. And let's get my thoughts uh, on the day. Okay, I'm gonna flip the camera around now and talk to you. Can't believe it. I've driven hundreds of kilometers and the brocante is closed. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. But let's have a nice little look at this wonderful town that we're in and uh, admire the architecture. Truth be told, I was incredibly disappointed on the day, but look at the lovely architecture. Nonetheless, I am glad to at least uh, look at these wonderful buildings because uh, you don't really get them of this style um, where we are. Uh, a little bit further south because this is an hour northwest of Paris and there is the wonderful little church very nice to look at okay that's all from voiceover Ryan back to the present day here we are at the bins you can see there the uh, the recycling bins over there and then there's a load of holes in the ground just there those are the bins where you put the rest of your rubbish in it's non-recyclable so if anyone wants to um, go through the Pefrix rubbish, you can come to these bins. Montanay, yeah. 35, <laughs> 53, 500 is the postcode, yeah. But you'll have to go through everyone else's bins of the village, so. Why would people want to go through our bins? I don't know. 
they might find something. There's some strange people in the world. <laughs> what are they going to find? I don't really recommend going through Billy's bins because uh, all the things you'll probably find horrendous. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so that was our antique shopping trip during the week. Absolutely ruined uh, because the antique shop was shut randomly. You want to see what rubbish we're putting in the no, bins? It's just, pla it's just plastics. The plastic we, we have to recycle. We recycle that. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're going to head off to the convent now while we finish off these bins. I'm going to help Billy. Is there a special bin for the brick? I don't know. I think with the brick, we'll just have to. I'm not going to put the brick in general waste because it probably doesn't belong there. So I'll take the brick to the tip one day. Just I'll just go to the tip just with one brick and uh, see what people say about that. Fun fact. Fun fact. Bricks are worth quite a lot of money, especially antique ones. Yeah, that's true. So if you've got an antique brick laying around, you're probably minted. Right, let's get to the convent. Here we are at the convent. That's right. You've seen it if you watch the Pefrix videos this week. We've got some new little things that have happened. Of course, we've got the bell in the corner. Let me show you that. Where is it? There it is. It's still here. Hasn't been nicked. That's good. Very good. <laughs> the security works at the convent. So anyway, also did we got the, um, the kitchen. kitchen. This is a little behind the scenes actually, because we didn't show where we put the stuff uh, in Billy's video. So we've got a printer and we're going to print some lovely pictures for the office because there are the frames as well there. They're gonna be, uh, I think that's like A3 size. It's actually really big. A2 within the center, yeah. Oh, A2, okay. Well, they probably are like A something. I yeah, know. well they're, they're 60 centimeters by 80, um, but within the frame, yeah. It's there's 40, a, there's yeah. like a, a border within the frame, so it's gonna be 60 by 40, the, the pictures that we print that's off. That's why we bought a printer. Yeah, that's very good. And the kitchen. And this is the kitchen. Yeah. This is it, just in a few boxes. Well, it's a kitchen to assemble. It's not actually a kitchen at the moment. It's just yeah. boxes of wood. And yeah. someone did ask Billy, I think there's <laughs> a comment on your channel, Bill. Why have you bought an Ikea kitchen? I think someone said that. Yeah. Okay, so yes, it's like an IKEA kitchen, but it's not from IKEA. And don't forget, it's an office. It's not a chateau or a grand kitchen. It's just a small room where we can prepare drinks and snacks. Yeah, because we don't want to be spending thousands on a bespoke kitchen. And there is a budget. Yeah. And we keep blowing the budget every <laughs> month. The actual kitchen in here, I'm sure it'll be very nice, won't it, Billy? Traditional. Traditional, there you go. So the proper big kitchen in the convent will be traditional and not from uh, a flat pack furniture. Okay, so there you go, there you have that. Right, let's get in the office. Give them a little office update, shall we? <laughs> Off we pop. The washing machine is still here, uh, just outside the office. We haven't done anything with it yet. The lift is still not functioning. Uh, hopefully at some point we'll get that fixed. One thing that does work is my fingerprint. So to access the office, you have to cut my thumb off. All right. Well, there you go. Okay, here we are. So not much has changed in the office. Uh, oh, oh, one thing that has changed, very important. That's right, we've got water now. Instead of Red Bull, we're, uh, we're going healthy, putting some water in it instead. Good idea, Billy, good idea. Uh, yes, that's Billy's desk. And my desk is over there. As you can see, nothing's really set up because this week we have been incredibly busy just doing other things, picking up the kitchen, picking up the bell. We've been at the chateau working a little bit as well. And uh, yeah, and this is the future kitchen. Can I show this, Billy? Of course you can. Yeah, you've seen it before on Billy's channel anyway. But the kitchen is going to go right behind me, so that's very exciting. And we're going to, uh, Billy's just checking the CCTV. He is bang on it when it comes to the security. We regularly check the cameras to make sure that there's no funny business going down, no tomfoolery. Because when Billy first bought this place, he was a little bit worried that the vandals slash uh, squatters would return. However, I think they know that the place is under new ownership and uh, they've probably seen the cameras and new gates and they probably think, mm, our fun is over when it comes to the convent. 
which is really, really good. There is a rumour around town that that building there with all those windows is maybe potentially going to be for sale at some point. It's part of the old hospital. Part of the old hospital is it Billy? And it has really nice views onto the main street uh -huh. of the town. Quite a busy road but it needs a new roof on the back and I think the front's not too bad. Right. If you actually look closely it's full of holes and when it's raining, it's just going to be pouring through the building. All right. It's really bad for a building like that, a historical building in a town like this. A town like this has a huge budget. They have millions oh, per so year. it's owned by the town? It's owned by the town. And they're letting it go to waste? It's going to waste, yeah. Such a shame. Yeah. It is a... So they wanted shame. to buy this. The town? Yeah. What? Even, even though they haven't even fixed their own building yet. Oh. It's a bad, you know. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Yeah, so there you go. That might be for sale at some point, but you didn't hear it from us. So Billy's just collecting a few things from the office today. We're not actually going to do much in terms of work because this weekend we're preparing for a Halloween party. Uh, I might be popping back to my parents tomorrow if I've got time, but I'm going to see them um, on Halloween anyway. So that's good. So that's it for my weekend plans. Oh, and by the way, check this out everyone. That's it, 150K, that's right. Billy on his YouTube channel has reached 150,000 subscribers. Uh, to be honest, we don't really look at the numbers too much because it's just a cr crazy number. It's hard to wrap your head around. Um, even with me reaching, I think, more than 30,000 subscribers now, I'm like, wow, that's insane. But what we do like to look at is the comment section because that way we can kind of communicate a little bit better whereas when you've got like thousands of subscribers it's hard to kind of you know wrap your head around it so we like that personal little touch that the comment section offers us little youtubers there is another thing that i want to show you coming out to this lovely little area here we always usually have our lunch here at this little table because you've just got a lovely view of the courtyard have you not you have indeed. What do you think, Billy? Absolutely, it's a lovely spot with yeah. a lovely view. Yeah, so this is where we usually have our lunch. It's absolutely wonderful. And uh, there, that section there that you can see is the, uh, the future apartments. And uh, potentially that top apartment might be my apartment if I play my cards next right. Next door, yeah. Oh, next door? Yeah, next door, yeah. Okay, excellent. Two bedroom yeah. apartment if you want it at any point. Yeah. Right. Well, you have you've got to look after me, right, Billy? I'm your responsibility. So if you and your lovely girlfriend ever want to move in together, you know, there's a little place there, there you for you. There a you love go. Love nest. Little love nest. Yeah. Love nest. Is that an appropriate word? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of my girlfriend, yes, of course, we are still together. I do get comments all the time asking about her, and sadly, obviously, I can't show her because she's not in France just yet, but you never know. Uh, she will hopefully be coming here one day. However, we're taking things nice and slow. No rush, and you know what they say? Distance makes the heart grow fonder. But I can't believe we've been together for like a year and a half already. Also, little cost of living uh, fun update. My car insurance just had it renewed, fully comp, everything, the works, breakdown cover, windscreen, fire, theft, anything you can imagine. Uh, 43 euros per month. Let me know if that's a lot, I'm not sure. I think that's a pretty good deal. Uh, so yeah, I'll be interested to know how much is car insurance in your part of the world? What are you paying? Uh, this is just like a normal car, you know, like two litre diesel, nothing special, but I think that's pretty cheap. Bearing in mind, I've got myself a nice little no claims bonus now. Uh, yeah, so there you go. And also, little update about the banking situation as well. As you may or may not have heard, I've, sw I've switched... I've switched all of my banking to online banks so I can't actually go in a physical uh, branch and talk to anyone. It's just online and it's fantastic. The service is so much better from these new online banks. Um, yeah, I love it. So happy days when it comes to the banking situation now because these 
old traditional banks are terrible. I hate, hate banks and anything to do with banking. <sighs> I've got a new accountant as well, because um, I'm getting organized, trying to understand how to navigate the strict and crazy world of French bureaucracy, and it's going great. So you know what? I'm really happy with uh, France, because people do say that the French system is really complicated, but I think here in France, they've, done, they've made fantastic efforts in the last 10 years to really make things more simple with regards to uh, running businesses, paying taxes, and um, yeah, healthcare stuff as well. So it's fantastic. Billy, would you say the French bureaucracy is complex or not? Well, I know it's very expensive in France, it's expensive, but I think yeah. it's totally worth it because the healthcare is amazing. The infrastructure is second to none. It is really good, yeah. Um, they look after their roads and their villages, ring roads around the villages. Mm -hmm. You never see any litter. They've got like gardeners and like, keeping the place tidy. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Which is litter. That's what yeah. I said. Basically, sorry, yeah. So sorry, Ryan. We're back at Chateau de la Bamigne now. We're just on the landing. You see here, wonderful chandelier and the uh, staircase. Lovely, love it. Love this little landing. See what Billy's up to. Billy. Hello, Ryan. What are you doing? <laughs> Who is was that? that? Alexander. Oh, it must have been. Ghost. Um, I am videoing uh -huh. the portraits or paintings in the chateau because for the Halloween video, which is coming on, I know the party's on Monday night. Yeah. But we won't release the video until Tuesday evening. Yep. Um, so I'm just going to get some things ready now to uh -huh. save myself a little bit of time. Yep. But remember, if you watch my channel, I did a video in the chapel where the murals on the ceiling were actually coming to life. Yep. So I'm going to use the same thing, the same um, format again, mm. but in the chateau. So we are bringing the paintings to, to life. life. Yes. Using AI. Very nice. Yep. Amazing. So this just... is Billy's little setup, by the way, everyone. He uses a uh, Sony FX3 camera. Yeah, I've got two of these. Yeah, you've got two of them. And uh, I use the same microphone as you, but I don't use the same camera. You use an A7 IV, which yeah. is an amazing Sony camera. Sony A7 IV, yeah. yeah. If you want to vlog, I would suggest buy a Sony. Yeah. Don't waste your money on an iPhone, just do it with a Sony. Yeah. Because you get that beautiful quality. Yeah. And I've bought, I'll tell you what, I've had probably about six cinema cameras uh -huh. since I've started vlogging, and this is the best. There you go. By the way, I love the red in the hallway, Billy. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, you chose a really good colour. So, I did start painting it, and I didn't get it finished in time, so we got a decorator in just to finish it all off. Oh, okay. And you did a really good job. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks really good. Very good. And then obviously this, uh, the landing is um, wonderful green colour. But of course, you've got the lovely red curtains and the sofa and chairs there that go very well with the hallway. So Billy and I are going to crack on with this and I will catch up with you in a little bit. That just about wraps up today's video. Oh, where are we? That's right. We're back at the convent, by the way, everyone. Uh, we just wanted to take a look at the convent lights to make sure that they're working well of an evening and as you can see they are so that's fantastic so uh, thank you so much for watching this little behind the scenes video this Saturday in jolly old France uh, that's all from me and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video in the very near future bye bye now